and welcome back, Professor Almeida, jpalmeida.com, here to talk to you today about G-Metrics. And if you need to test for an industry certification, whether it's the Certiport IC3, the Microsoft Office Specialist, or MOS, or the MTA, you will be working with this web-based practice software. And depending on the class, you might actually have to turn in your results. So we'll cover all of that, and let's get started with G-Metrics here. You can get to it by visiting gmetrics.net, and you can go ahead and sign up for a free account. So once you've done that, go ahead and sign in. And this is the Gmetrics dashboard. Now, before you get started with anything else, I wanna take a moment and show you the help and user guides. So if you've never worked with Gmetrics, do spend the time working with the user guide here so that you understand what's going on. Also, you might have to download the software. Okay, especially if you are practicing with the MOS. You'll see that there's a Windows PC and a Mac version. If you are working with the MOS, please understand that MOS is not supported on the Mac. You do need a Windows PC. Speaking of software and working with the Windows PC, you might not even be able to install the software. At least in my case here with my computer, I am restricted from installing software, so you might run into that also. If that's the case, or let's just say you don't have the hardware, you can always use the COS Computer Labs, okay? So please keep that in mind. All right, let me back out of here. So once you're here in the dashboard, you want to head on over to Redeem. Now, when you go into Canvas and visit our class site, you're going to see a code beneath the checklist of things to do when you first started the course. You can simply copy and paste the code into here and it will give you access to the practice exams. Let's say I wanna get started. I'm gonna choose start new test and you'll see that I have a number of different exams to choose from. So if I'm practicing for the MOS, I'm going to choose Office 365. If I'm in COSA 30 and I'm certifying for the IC3, I'm gonna choose IC3 Global Standard 5, or let's say I'm working on the MTA, maybe I'm in COSN 10, I'm gonna choose MTA. So I'm gonna take you through each of them here, and this is as of fall 2019, and you know, when it comes to technology, things change very rapidly, so do be on the lookout for any class announcements, either in Canvas or on ground. All right, let's get started with the MOS here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Office 365, and you'll see that access is not here at the moment. Okay, so again, things may change. So for now, I'm gonna go over to Office 2016 and choose Access. Now, again, depending on the class, you may have to submit your Gmetrics results. Please read through the instructions so that you know which exam you're dealing with because there are a number of different practice exams here You'll see here's practice exam one, two, skill review one, skill review two, and so forth. You'll also notice that there are two different modes. There's training mode and there's testing mode. So in training mode, you don't have a time limit. You're free to make mistakes and the software will walk you through the process, okay? In the case with a MOS exam, it's a lot like your office grader projects. So if you're taking a class involving Microsoft Office, whether it's COSA 25 or 50, and you're practicing for the MOS, it's a lot like your greater projects. So you'll be given anywhere from four to seven projects with a couple of tasks for each, maybe five or six tasks. And with the MOS, you are timed you'll have to complete all the tasks within a project, you move on to the next project, you complete those tasks, and so forth. And you will need the software that I showed you earlier, as you can see here, right? You will need the software. I can't show it to you because my computer is restricted. Okay, so again, if you need to, you can head on over to the COS Computer Labs. They have all the software you need. All right, let me show you the IC3. So if you're in COSA 30, you wanna choose IC3 Global Standard 5. And we are using what's called Compass. So when you choose your Gmetrics exams, you wanna find the Compass version. 
As you know, the IC3 is divided up into three different exams, computing fundamentals, key applications, and living online. So let me show you computing fundamentals real quick. This is the Office 2016 version, and here are the two Compass exams. Let me show you what training mode actually looks like, and you'll see that I have a saved test here. So it takes a moment to load, and it goes without saying that you should be somewhere where you have a good network connection, right? A good internet connection. Okay, what component in most cellular enabled tablets and smartphones contains the device's telephone number and identifies the device to its carrier? Or carrier? Okay, so I have a number of different choices here, and I'm just going to go with SIM card, right? In this case, it's the correct answer. And you'll see the explanation. So if you come across a question that you're not sure of, make sure you take some notes along the way, okay? If you don't understand it, take some notes along the way. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next question, okay? So we'll continue here. So you'll get questions like these and you can move back and forth between the different questions. You can pull out and see all of the questions at a glance here. If you're not sure of a question or your answer, you can always mark it for review and come back to it later at the end. If you need to quit out of this for any reason, you can always save and exit. So I'm gonna go back and show you a question like this, okay? You may come across questions where there is more than one correct answer. Which three statements are true about cellular phones? Okay, so you'll need to go line by line here and figure out which of the choices are true. And again, once you lock in your answer, as you can see, it is correct. Let's say you don't know the answer. Okay, let's look at this one. What are at least two types of cell phone networks available today? Obviously, it's 3G and 4G LTE. Now, 3G, it's a bit old, and you might come across some questions like this where the technology is a bit dated. This is also the case with the IC3 exam, so expect that, okay? All right, let's say I don't know the answer. Oh, I don't know, USB and, oh, LTE, because I always hear it in the commercials. And you'll see, whoops, your answer is not correct. And again, it will explain it to you that the correct answer is LTE and 3G. So again, if you miss the question, you might want to jot it down. All right, let's go ahead and quit out of this. So that's the IC3. And let me show you real quick living online and key applications. Okay, so again, choose the Compass version. Okay, this is the only exam available here for Compass. We are using IC3 Compass. All right, the last one is the MTA. Okay, so this is for my COSN 10 folks. You want to choose networking fundamentals. And again, you see there's training mode, testing mode. It works the same way, right? You'll get different questions, very similar to the IC3. Your ISP recently installed a T1 line. What's the maximum throughput? Okay, so I hope you were paying attention in class, but let's say you weren't and you're down to 50-50. Oh, I don't know, is it 1.5 megabits per second or 1.544? I don't know, I'm gonna take a guess. And ooh, I'm correct, right? So again, you see the explanation. Right? So again, it pays to pay attention. You need to set up a VPN between two companies collaborating on a project. What type of VPN will you set up? Okay, let's say I don't know the answer, right? Let's say I don't know the answer. Well, in this case, I was correct. Okay, let's, let me just, let me just pick something here. Let's just go with, let's just go with this, right? Okay, so again, Here's the explanation of what's the correct answer. Okay, so again, if you get it wrong, write it down, and that's pretty much the practice exam, right? So in testing mode, remember, it is timed, and depending on the class, if you are turning in your results, you may have to turn in your testing mode results. And speaking of turning in your results, let me show you how. So let's say I need to turn in my results. I'm gonna head over to tests, completed tests, right and let's say I want to turn in this IC3 exam okay again you want to carefully read the instructions depending on whether it's testing or training mode 
okay? Read the instructions. And in any case, you will need to print a PDF. So I'm gonna choose this print icon here. Now, because I'm in Google Chrome, I can just simply save as PDF. But what if I'm not in Google Chrome or this option doesn't show up? I will actually have to choose a printer. And if you're on a Windows 10 machine, one of your options will be Microsoft Print to PDF, right? So this is the uh, built-in PDF printer. You might also have Adobe PDF as well. But since I'm in Chrome, I can save as PDF and I'll choose a name I can remember. You can see I've been playing around with this. So I'll choose Living Online Compass and I'll go ahead and replace it. So this is what my printout looks like. Okay, it's in my downloads folder so it helps to know where it is. Right? This is the file you're going to be uploading in Canvas, by the way. You'll see here it is, Living Online, IC3 for Compass. There's my name. Make sure you include your name. I'm in training mode, but if this were COSA 30, I would have to choose testing mode. I would need to turn in my testing mode results. You can see here's the score. And as long as you pass the exam, you'll get full credit. If you don't pass, you can keep trying right up until the due date, but if you still don't pass, then I'll take your score divided by what's passing. So in this case with the IC3, passing is 700. Let's say you get a 644. Your grade will be 644 divided by 700. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. Good luck in G metrics. Good luck on your certification exams, and thank you for watching.